in this thanks for joining the session c2 human factors and human system collaboration and my name is Sijun holder Liang and the robotics fellow at national u.s national institute for occupational safety and health so today we have in this session we have five uh speakers um focuses on human factors and human system collaboration so um, let me just a friendly reminder that we each speaker will have eight to 10 minutes followed by three minutes questions at QA session. So to start it, let's first introduce our first speakers. Uh, talk, uh, he, he will present our evaluation of construction site layout using virtual reality linked uh, with 3D CAD and body tracking. All right, so Mr. Hita Toshi Suda from uh, Waseda University. The floor is yours. And thank you for your introduction. I'm Hideto Shitsuda from Waseda University in Japan. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about VR system using linkage with 3D CAD and body tracking. Uh, this is a table of contents. My presentation is divided into four main parts and the technical development part includes two components. Uh, let me begin by talking about introduction. It includes previous research and the aim of research. Then I will introduce some previous research of XR application in construction in Japan. The first one is Braille by Obesh Corporation, which is a Japanese general contractor. And this system is a VR educational system for construction managers and VR for hands-on training to locate defects and river placement. The advantages of this system are easy to change models and to experience anywhere. Research on VR technology is being conducted in Japan in this way. The second example is a development of quality management method using mixed reality. By using this method, we can inspect by overlaying beam model and a real building. This system can 20% labor compared to conventional inspection system. Like this kind of research, my study sees to the future of such application of the construction industry. Next, I will explain the research aim. And this video shows the application used in my research. And this study presents a framework for evaluating parametric modeling using VR that incorporates body tracking. And this system is targeted at the evaluation of temporary installation before starting construction. The important points here, first by reproducing body movements in VR, it is possible to evaluate the widths and heights of a construction site based on one's own body. Second, by reflecting the 3D CAD model used in the VR design real time, changes in the design plan can be immediately examined. Uh, in addition to this, the system can transmit data to 3D CAD from VR. And now I'd like to talk about how I developed the VR system. Uh, this slide shows a method of reproduction of body movements in VR. In this system, use, Unity is used for a VR application development. Oh. The elements for reproduction of body movements are defined. First, HMMD is needed for recognizing VR and tracking head positions. Second one is body tracking. In this study, the body movement is tracked by using Azure Connect. Third one is tracking individual body parts. In this study, it means tracking hand movements. Leap motion is used to track hand movements. If the game of movements of other bodies is required, other methods may be required. This way data are integrated to move a body model and inverse kinematics is used to move a body model. Next, I'll talk about real-time linkage of 3D CAD and VR. This shows reflecting design changes in 3D CAD to VR. Uh, when a 3D model is used in the VR, in common cases, it must be exported as an object and then imported. However, by cutting this step, the time required can be shortened and a speedy study can be achieved. And this thing can 
uh, also to reflect the data from VR to 3D CAD. And these are the advantages of that real time linkage with 3D CAD and VR. This shows a picture of Japanese steel frame construction and a diagram of welding scaffold that I referred to. On this scaffold, workers perform welding and other operations. Scaffolds for steel frame in Japan varies with the size of construction component. So the required parameters are not few and it was determined to be suitable for parametric modeling. This is a model of scaffold and steel frame. Steel frame 3D models are created using Ryanset software. This picture shows the models and parameters. This model is created with six parameters. And this slide shows how to transmit 3D CAD data to VR. Rhino Inside was used for transmitting 3D data to VR. Objects of the model are individually listed and transmitted. So any objects can be edited individually. In other words, any objects can be added function individually. Now here are the some examples of additional pos possible options. First, this model is not a deficit detection as except for, for the floor. So this red cube flips through the handrail and the pillar. Then I add physics detection to all means and red cube is flipped out. Second, I add gravity to the model. Third, I move the model in VR. I explained three examples and these examples demonstrate the potential to fully and freely utilize the physics engine in this VR system linked with 3D CAD. And this is a system configuration, 3D CAD and Rhino Insight and VR and tracking. Uh, these components uh, are connected as bureau diagrams. This system can also send data from VR to 3D CAD. So for the future work, it is possible to analyze our skeleton using Grasshopper program like Canvas 3D. Then I'd like to talk about an example of evaluation construction site layout. And this diagram shows the flow of system use. The layout is evaluated while changing the parameters. Here is a demonstration video. After starting VR application, we are on 3D CAD in linked by changing the dimensions of the crumbs, you can immediately move on to examining crumbs of different dimensions. By varying the size of the scaffold, it is possible to evaluate whether the envisioned construction error is large enough. The following videos are in first and third person view. The VR experience can evaluate their model based on his or her own body. For example, the distance to objects can be can also be confirmed from the positions of one's hands, and you can check to make sure that your body is not out of the scaffold. Then I'd like to summarize the main points of this study. First, the VR method connected to 3D CAD and the tracking system in real time were explained. And the real time tracking and the reproduction of a body in VR can verify variability by viewing the body and elements of a construction project. And these two points are the uh, main points. And uh, first, reproducing body movements in VR. Second, uh, real-time linkage of 3D CAD and VR. So then finally, using this system, we can review the plans immediately after modeling. And these are the references list. And that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you for speaking. Uh, any questions from the audi auditorium? Thank you for the fascinating presentation. And I have a question about like, so as I understand, the main purpose of the research is to evaluate after, after the planning, right? Yes. Then could, could we use this idea to 
for example, inspection inspection after the modeling is already became became reality. So, oh. do you think it would, do you think this idea could be used for inspection, for example? Oh, uh, so it, yeah, pardon me. So, so it, well, I think what he meant, what the question is about is your methodology as for now is for checking before those idea is implemented on the site, right? Right. Yes. What we are wondering is even after mm -hmm. we implemented those materials on the site, can we still apply your method to the uh, site? Uh, okay. At the after uh, after implementing, uh, it will be applied. So the before uh, implemented uh, the the uh, objects of the user system is whether it should be uh, a good model or not, and after. Uh, if uh, this system is applied for after implementation and the system is used for uh, for and sorry uh, whether the worker can act safety and uh, safety or uh, productivity uh, hmm. Um, the worker can act safety with parameters or a uh, worker can act with productivity for chicken. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, any other questions? So if there's not, um, let's join me again to thanks for the great uh, presentation. So, uh, so our next speakers, 